The title collector is here. The following contest is a tag team Hell in a Cell match. Introducing first from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, The Undertaker. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Here comes the Beast. The most dominant competitor in WWE history. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock The Beast Incarnate has been involved in some of WWE's biggest matches. He's always a spectacle to see in action. And there are undoubtedly more unforgettable moments on their way. It's time to do it the Cowboy way. Brock Lesnar began his career dominating WWE, was nearly unstoppable in MMA, and has spent over a decade dominating the WWE landscape since returning. A man who has been virtually unstoppable. Guess what, folks? It's time to acknowledge the Tribal Chief and representing the Bloodline. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! This is the man who unified the WWE and Universal Championships to become undisputed WWE Universal Champion. It was a history-making WrestleMania moment, and this man has had many of those. Uh, here's a question. What has Roman Reigns done that isn't history-making? I actually agree with you, Saxton, a man who has had an indescribable impact on this industry. He's carved his legacy in stone. No one stands in the way of the head of the table for too long. The title collector is here. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, The Rock! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. 
This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The cell is lowered, doors are locked, and this Hell in a Cell match is about to start with Undertaker. The ring will be Roman Reigns and The Rock. There are only terrifying thoughts in every superstar's head when the cell door locks shut. It's darkness imprisoning you. All that you see is absolute horror. You are trapped in yourself and your body is held by the cell. Hell in a Cell is the kind of the ultimate test for a superstar. Any words of wisdom for these competitors, Corey? Well, don't let the setting of this match get to you. Stay focused on your opponent and just work hard on getting this thing won. If being confined within the cell starts to rattle you, then you've just handed your competition the advantage. Oh, look at this. A release belly to belly. I don't think anybody can stop the beast in Cardiff. Take a look at me like that. Ooh, got the first into the knee. He steps foot in the ring again. Wrist lock applied. some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, the belly. <laughs> a bad position here. Lands face first. Oh. Oh, that might be it. Now he's been put on the defensive. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fade it. And... Side of the sleeper. Ooh, taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks in this guy. He's able to fend off the attack. He reverses it. Buster. Oh man, able to elude it.
Macho Man punch by the Tribal Chief. Sit 
right back. Landing the uppercut. Oh, stiff uppercut. Oh, and look at this. And he's through the wall. Do you realize how much force that must have taken? Good God. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Uppercut connects. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Oh, looks like an act of desperation. A big one.
I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. Here are your winners, The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. It's The Undertaker leading the team to victory. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.